The battle at Universal Studios continues. <laughs> I had a good poop this morning, which makes my butt stickier. They're not no. going anywhere. No, no, no. What if they'd had reserves underwater that we didn't know about? They could have shot You're creeping me out. Stop it. He does that. Instead of second guessing what we did, shouldn't we think about our next move? Yeah. <laughs> Sue is so mature. If we follow the shore to the exit, then we can avoid the central plaza entirely. That way we don't run into the villains Mr. Aizal was basing off with there. Yeah, but can he handle them on his own? He, How long can he hold out? He can, right. That? That's the question. He can't really defeat them, right? He can just pause them. I'm not saying that we should jump into the middle of a battle, but maybe we can find a way to take a few of those guys out and lighten his load. We'd had our first real fight and won, but that only gave us false hope. It made us think our powers could actually work against the enemy. We'd soon learn how wrong we were. Oof. Game over. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop this whole time. Part of me hopes it never does. <laughs> but I think it will. I think it will. To cross the different shows I'm reacting to here, I feel like the Levi philosophy applies. They didn't do anything wrong, right? They didn't make this happen. The villains did. And honestly, it's anyone's guess how it will turn out or what the best course of action is. You can easily imagine a scenario where they intervene and make things worse, right? Like they get in the way. Or you can imagine a situation where they don't and Aizawa dies. You just follow your heart. You have faith in the moment and you just let go of the outcome a little bit, I guess. You were woefully unprepared. In fact, it's that you've had no training. You haven't the slightest idea how to use your quirks. This guy is the best trash talker. Most of these villains are low-level thugs, just pawns. Huh. So it's all for appearance. There are only four or five truly dangerous people here. If that's the case, then what we need right now is more information. This guy's good. If you stay frozen, your cells will slowly die as your body succumbs to frostbite and hypothermia. Bye. <laughs> but I can only do that if you tell me how you plan to kill All Might. That's the only way you'll survive. Who is this guy? Damn. I don't know why most of these guys are just low-level lackeys, but I kind of like that because it makes it more believable that these students are able to handle them somewhat effectively. But now with Deku, Sue, and Melinda, what is his name? <laughs> Matindo? <laughs> Memento. But now Deku, Su, and Memento are heading into the, the main villain area. They're they're setting themselves up, like Deku alluded to. Then pull out a weapon for me, too! You're the one with electrical powers. Just sap them. Electrical so powers. Paying attention during combat training. I wasn't. I'm sorry. If I try to shoot it out, it'll go everywhere. I take you guys down along with them. Or did you watch shock treatment today? You like oh, I feel like his powers would be really useful. Up. Yeah, exactly. Just throw him in there. Hey, this is working. I'm super strong. <laughs> Good to know, good to know. Good thing to discover about yourself. Kyokajiro. Earphone Jack. What does that remind me of, the sound wave thing? Isn't that a real thing or like a rumored real weapon that people are developing? Blasting people with sound waves? She creates objects. So now he can blast. Yeah, yeah. You guys are you should find them right away. You're looking a little overexposed. Oh no! Huh? I can make some new clothes. Momo Yaiyorozu, her quirk creation. Yeah, I'm not learning her name. A uh, Momo's alright. I can do Momo. She's only able to do this if she understands the molecular structure of the item she's making. Alchemy. <laughs> 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 I mean, they're high school students. I get it. I'm an adult and I'm <laughs> no, kidding. Oh God, good Lord, help me. Thank you, Kaminari. Becomes. Oh, so it's part of his quirk. It's not the, the nudity. Got it. I guess he can win eventually just through punching. Here we go. Final boss, yeah. What's his power, I wonder? Found your tail. It's your hair. When what? it drops, it means you stop using your quirk. You're having to blink more often. Wow. <gasps> He's making him brittle. That annoying quirk of yours isn't suited for drawing out fights against big groups, is it? Yeah, he needs an ally. You're much better at working stealthily. You're known for surprises. More stealthily, yeah. Fighting head to this guy knows his stuff. He's also a fan. The hair is a tell. 
really are so cool. <laughs> At least he appreciates. I am not the final boss. <gasps> what just happened? Get in there, Deku. Hit him with Dallas Punch or something, some state attack. Oh no. He got me. Ida, get out of here. Ida's still there? Be a real hero. Oh, this hurts, but you gotta go, man. You gotta go now. Yeah, thank you. A sheep trying to escape from the wolves. Be gone. Who's gonna step up? Anti-symbol of peace. No move. Well, this is going well. I guess the other shoe is dropping. We have to make it up to the others. You want to track everyone down? Have fun. But I'm gonna go destroy them. He hasn't learned anything from his his simulation battles. If I cut off their escape route, they'll be stuck here and have to pay for what they've done. Is this another frog? Sue's father. Or not. Since when you act so calm and rational? Usually you're all like, Die! 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 <laughs> calm and rational, you red-haired loser! Yeah, there, you there you are, are yeah. Alright, good. This music means things are turning around. <laughs> Nothing bad happens when this music is playing. Birdman? Yeah. His power seems so cool. We're reducing their numbers, but very slowly. This is seriously making up for the fact that they rushed through the All Might training exercise where they first hinted at all their powers. Uraraka? Uraraka? Yeah! Nice. <laughs> Makes running look so cool. God. He's breaking my bones like they're twigs. I think he's as strong as All Might. I don't know what you do in this situation. Even Sue. It hurts extra bad too because he's a symbol of what they're aspiring to. As I was more than a teacher to them. He represents the order of their world and safety. So it's a huge deal to see his arms getting snapped like twigs, as I will put it. And, you know, seeing his face be smashed into the concrete. I feel like they would actually have the courage and ability to jump into the battle if Aizawa was still fighting. But to see him being crushed like that, it's more than them just being more mentally aware of the dangers. It's a spiritual blow. Did you manage to kill 13? The rescue hero is out of commission. Yeah, but Ida got away. There were students I was unable to disperse, and one of them got outside of the facility. Interesting. Oh, Gary. You're full. He's got a lot of itches, a lot of hands. Did I hear that right? Did he say they're going to just leave? That's what it sounded like to me. Don't celebrate just yet. Uh, yeah. I was still in danger. <laughs> Any opportunity. Yeah, they're not just gonna go go out without doing any damage. You really are so cool. Wow! Hell yeah! Yeah, he bought him enough time. This guy was actually going for the kill. That puts Deco on his radar, I guess. He's the All Might Neutralizer. The anti-peace. This smash of yours? Are you one of All Might's disciples? Very observant. He just revealed himself by doing that. Damn, this imagery. Please let this be All Might. Yes! <laughs> wow, this makes me happy. This makes me so happy. I feel like the adults have arrived. <laughs> Uh. I am here. Maybe Ida ran into him on the way. He was thinking about going, right? <laughs> Sue is low-key the MVP of these episodes, though, for the students. Looks like our game's getting a continue. 
the happiness I felt <laughs> when All Might arrived. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know this feeling could still exist inside of me, this relief at the adult showing up. <laughs> that is just something so priceless. Giving people the feeling that they can always count on you. That is so difficult, but just so awesome. If we're talking about ideals, man, that's that's an ideal right there. Being the kind of person that when you show up, everyone immediately knows everything's gonna be okay. I would love to aspire to that on some level. Although we know that there's a dark side to that too, or there's a cost, a big cost for All Might. The villain is interesting so far. One thing I like about him already is that he seems to be somewhat of a admirer of of superheroes. He might have some parallels with Deku in that way, like he seems to know a lot about them to really study their quirks. He gets very itchy and he has a lot of hands to scratch. I'm guessing there might be something to that. All Might seems to be the one itch he can't scratch. <laughs> I don't know. There's so much great stuff that comes out of these two episodes. I mean, showcasing the students' abilities is really cool. Showing them work together, it just reinforces my idea that there's so much potential in this system. It's It's been set up really well and you can tell they put a lot of thought and creativity into it. Creating a formidable threat, creating stakes for the students, creating stakes for All Might for that matter or the world, I guess. And for me, I just love the fact that Aizawa was given proper treatment. I, I gravitated to him from the very first frame that we saw him, right? But it's really been validated over the last couple episodes or since he's been introduced because he's someone who, whatever flaws his philosophy might have, he's not a phony, right? Like he's convicted in his beliefs and he backs it up and he also shares the the heroic qualities, right? Like speaking about what, what makes people a hero, he may be different from All Might in some ways, but when push comes to shove, he's proven he's just as willing to sacrifice himself as All Might. He does really care about the students. He's not messing around at all. And so now there's so much that the show can do with him. Overall, things are moving a little bit faster than I thought they would. I had a feeling that at some point the show is going to be sort of a dual path of like being at school and also dealing with a threat in the world, you know, having to become heroes quickly, but it's happening now. You know, I thought there would be, or maybe I was hoping for more of this sort of lighthearted school time, but that's life. Things happen. Things are always happening. You just do your best, what you can do for now. And it's not over. We're still in this arc. All Might's shown up, so I feel relieved, but they have this All Might neutralizing bird brain thing. And I feel like Deku has sort of exposed himself. This guy, this villain, Hans McGee, was very quick, very quick to pick that up. Very perceptive about heroes and their <laughs> and their quirks. So now Deku's even more of a target. Seems like this is a destined meeting. But yeah, that's the end of this episode. Are we going into the finale? We only have two more episodes in the season. That's crazy, this just flew by. <laughs> Thank you.